Okay, we're going to resume the press conference after <coughs> Lithuania's 110-104 win over the USA here in Group J to clinch first place. Uh, again, both teams already had places in the quarterfinals uh, secure here at the FIBA Basketball World Cup in Manila. Um, Vitas Karanauskas has joined us along with Kazis Maxvitas. Um, Vitas, uh, if you could just give us a comment, please, on the game. Uh, it's hard to talk. It was a tough game from the beginning. It's a big win for our country, for us, like players, for coaches, to play against the best in the world. I'm happy for my country, for my family, for our families, and and we don't need to stop now, and we don't need to celebrate much because game in like 48 hours with Serbia, do or die. So happy, but. We cannot be too happy. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Kazis, I can see that you're trying not to smile, but it's okay if you want to. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, hello, everybody. So, uh, congratulations to our team, our fans. Uh, we start the game very well. Uh, I think of, of this, we got advantage. And then, then we try to keep this advantage till the end of the game. <coughs> Uh, congratulations to our guys to execute plan, plan very well. But like White has mentioned, uh, we need to save our emotions and our all efforts uh, for next game because in, just in two days we are starting playoffs. So congratulations one more time and, and uh, now we need to have short memory to, to prepare for the second game. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, if you have a question, raise your hand. Uh, start here on the end. Hi guys, Joe Barton from The Athletic. Uh, coming into this game, uh, I'm wondering if you're thinking about the distinct size advantage that you would have over Team USA, and sp specifically with the rebounds. You come in, I know you don't want to share intricacies of game plans, but that, is that something that you look to exploit against the American team? Uh, of course, uh, uh, we don't have too much advantages but when we are playing against USA team. Uh, but we were brave. Uh, we tried to attack them uh, off ball post actions. Uh, they are very good in the ball pressure, one on one defense. Uh, and uh, different uh, from defensive end, uh, we don't want to left them alone. We try to double team to, to make them, to force them to pass the ball and uh, try to take out the first options. And of course, good percentage especially first half, help us a lot to, to win this game. Vitus in the front here, Jake Fisher with Yahoo Sports. You had that big moment, that and one spin on Austin Reeves and stuck your tongue out and got the crowd going. What was, what was important about kind of showing your emotional intensity and trying to kind of give it back to USA in this game? Mm, nothing personal, just love for the game and I played with his brother last year, so I talked with him before the game. He said, give him a trash talk, so I give him a time. <laughs> That's it, nothing special. Uh, yes, the gentleman in the back there, yep. Hi, Coach. Tim Reynolds with the Associated Press. You both made reference to it, but <coughs> how difficult is the challenge right now of keeping emotions and composure in check? I mean, you just beat this team, and and then your tournament is on the line Tuesday regardless. How, how difficult is it that the sort of balance, the, the joy that comes with beating this team versus a very big game awaits in two days? Uh, that's, that's a good question. And um, uh, we'll, we'll see in, in a couple of days. Uh, but in locker room, we said to our guys just uh, to celebrate short, shortly and uh, save all the energy and uh, emotions also for the upcoming game. So it's, it's very hard. We, we won one of the biggest win in our uh, career, but we don't have time to celebrate this because Serbia is waiting us. They, 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 they are not waiting us with the flowers and with the red carpet. In the front row here from Spain. Hello, by Daskos from Alba from Spain. Congratulations on the win. You were not supposed to be here, it's that the comment. You, if I don't remember bad, you are playing also in second division of Lithuania. How important for you that maybe kind of... Maybe Bad information. 
that information? How important is for you to be here to win Lithuania and make the performance you made? Uh, very important. Very important because it's important for my country to win against USA. It's, it happened like 19 years ago when Sharas was playing. So I was watching that game 20, 25 times maybe. So, and we, now we did it. So it's crazy, but we have to chill. Evan from FIBA World Basketball. Hi, um, Coach. Uh, after last year at Eurobasket, when you went out in the round of 16, but you were just a bounce of the ball away from beating Spain. Do you think maybe uh, you were under, underestimated coming into this tournament, and do you think that changes now? Uh, I think so. I've lost uh, a, a bit of talent before this tournament, but great, uh, good team with uh, hard workers, uh, hard worker guys, uh, and they fit very well to each other. And from from my side, it's a pleasure to coach them, and I hope. Uh, we keep doing this uh, three more games. Uh, John Marcus here from Spin.ph. So, coach, after building that gap and that confidence in the first half, and then you see USA starting to fight back, were you already thinking about making adjustments as soon as possible, or did you leave it, leave it to your guys to finish what they started? One ad adjustment that we tried to do today to share the minutes and uh, we, we did this perfect. Uh, two guys played just 22 minutes because, like I mentioned before, uh, it's not possible to play day by day. A lot of efforts, a lot of emotions, first of all. And, uh, and uh, from one side, we want to slow down game. From other side, we don't want to stop the play our way, like how we start the game. So it was like cat and mouse game at the end. Hi, Coach. Naveen Nunglani of Rabbler.com. Obviously, you're focused on your next game against Serbia, but if you do advance far into the tournament, there's a good chance you will face USA again like you did today. And some of the players in the team said today that after the game that they, they're looking forward to potentially facing Lithuania again. Now, do you think a game like this, though, gives you more confidence moving forward into a potential rematch knowing you already beat them? I hope so. Uh I think it's good for USA team also before the playoffs. So I hope so that we got confidence, and I hope hope that we we have we have short memory and, and we'll be ready for the next game. Uh, hi, Coach uh, Joe Verai from SB Nation. Um, it seemed as if your game plan defensively was to pack the paint and try to stop their middle penetration and force them to make the pass. Um, how satisfied with you were you with that game plan, and did it work perfectly? Uh, I think uh, we won the game uh, not with our defense. We want to be much better, but we won the game with our perfect offense, perfect uh, percentage. And uh, of course, we wanted to pack the game, but it's not. We want to stop their transition. We want to pack the paint, but it, uh, they still score, score 104 points. So. I think we won the game of our offense. Okay, um, I'm going to ask for questions in Lithuanian. John, do you have any questions in Lithuanian? No? Any, any questions in Lithuanian? Okay, can we go back to English real quick? One second. John? Coach, good evening and congratulations on the win. John Mogol of Radio Filipinas Dos Sports. Uh, you called up uh, Demantas, uh, Demantas uh, Motiunas in the fourth quarter when, uh, when Jonas had to sit down due to foul trouble. He made a basket, made a couple of defensive stops. Could you just talk about the trust you have on Demantas and um, uh, the benefit of having such a capable guy on your bench? Uh, you know, Lithuania, we are a small country, and uh, I coach at uh, Demantas uh, youth age. When I was one of the first coaches. Uh, in the basketball school of Kaunas. So I know him very well, his family, he knows me very well. So uh, when we lost uh, Domantas Sabonis this year, so uh, Dimo Donatas uh, replaced him and uh, and how to say he compensated. Yeah, he compensated. Uh, he compensated uh, Domantas Sabonis' role and and uh, he's uh, he perfectly fit in our team. He's veteran, he's playing with good efforts, he's uh, showing a good uh, work ethic and good example in and out of the court. So I'm very happy 
uh, about Donatus. Okay, we'll take the last question here in front. Uh, coach, hi, I'm Mon from Dagat Philippines. So you started the game lights out from three point area. So just want to ask, as a team and as a coach, how much do you give importance to your players to shoot those threes? Uh, we start shooting threes, we start making, and uh, uh, I think we've, before the game we've, we felt a little bit of freedom because uh, this game wasn't so important uh, if you're talking about playoffs. And maybe of this, uh, players start the game with less stress and share the ball easy and attack, attack basket uh, easy with, all, with no pressure. So next game will be playoff game, elimination game, so it will be different. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thank right. you. Don't forget to move on. Yeah.